Good morning, everyone. You're listening to Trace Elements Radio. We are live today, Revolution Radio, Studio A. Of course, Trace Elements Radio. We are joined by Chief Charles Tudog. We've got a lot to tell you. Osio and Sigilis gonna go, and Kiora and Hey, how you doing? Uh, Osio, Sigilis gonna go. And Kiyoda, and uh, I'm very honored to be on with you today. And uh, yeah, there's uh, there's a lot going on in business wise. I mean, uh, you had the uh, Waitangi Day yesterday uh, through that weekend, and a yeah. lot of uh, protests in New Zealand. Tell and, tell uh, the people about what that is, if you don't. Uh, they had uh, one treaty, one treaty with the government of uh, New Zealand that between the Māori and uh, the, the, the Queen's government. And uh, Waitangi is, uh, was a treaty of Waitangi, and uh, they, they celebrate that, uh, that every year, which we did a, a uh, show about that with them, I think, a few years ago, Trace. Yes, we did. We, we had a live show, and it was awesome because it was like our powwows here. Where, yes, you know, people are running around, everybody's talking, there would be a random song. It was so fun. That was so fun. Well, you know, if there, you know, because you have these world, uh, you know, big corporations doing things like this. And, uh, you know, destroy, if they're destroying the environment, they, the first people are going to talk about that. Mm-hmm. And, and that was a, a quite a bit of protests I understand through uh, you know going on in Aotearoa as far as New Zealand yeah I kind of lost it at the they're throwing dildos at people now <laughs> and I well, feel that should happen more often to be honest well maybe well maybe a pump throws around goes around and throws something Can you imagine? I don't know. <laughs> um, the news for today because we've got a bunch to talk about and um, it's beginning to feel a lot like puck this, because I can't say the f word. Yeah. <laughs> first yeah. of all, first of all, I'm thinking the epitaph for humanity should be, "I'm sorry, we didn't know that was sacred," because another, another. And this is not the first. This is this is actually the eighth. And eight, seven, and eight will play a lot in our show today. Eighth white spirit animal killed. I have pictures. Go to the site. You can you can see it on our site again. Um, TraceElementsRadio.com. Got the dot com. Yeah, I Paid the big money. When I seen it, do you see it? Yes. A spirit moose was shot during a hunting trip to Cape Breton Highlands. Hunters who killed it claimed they did not realize it was sacred to the Micmac. They are returning the dead body to be disposed of respectfully. So they saw something beautiful of a picture of this man who looks happy. Looks like he's got quite a smile on his face to me. Great big yeah, great big smile. So killing a rare, a rare albino. They're calling it albino moose. I don't think many people on this planet especially on this continent do not know what the albino the albino it's just a word what the sacred white animals mean they lied because when I've tracked down these people which I have and you know I'm obsessive when I look into somebody he paid extra to go and hunt this particular animal. He did. He and his party paid extra to go there. 
Huh. They paid $50,000 extra to go to this particular spot. If you're going for deer, if you're just going for moose, if you're just going for elk, you pay the money, you go get your elk, you go get your animal. I'm, yeah. I'm not judging hunting. Okay, I'm a little bit judging hunting, but you pay $50,000 to go to a specific spot that there have been sightings of a specific animal, but you don't know? Well, Trace, let's put it, let's put it, you know, right on the button here. Let's not, let's not judge the hunting. You know, because we had to do that our, ourselves to take care of the tribe. We've all hunted. Yeah, we. everywhere you live. But. We. Yeah. But. Let's put the big but in here. The big but is we didn't pay $50,000 to go hunting. You're paying, you're paying money to go hunt. And the worst part? Let me tell you about the worst part. It was a Micmac brother who guided them. Yeah. You know, I had a little disagreement on um, my Facebook page. I, I think I ha handled it better than I wanted to. But... <laughs> I'm sure. Our people... Our, our brothers and sisters, I mean all of ours, everybody on this planet, you will always find one of us to sell out. You will yeah. always find that. Yeah. Over and over and over again. If, if you're searching for um, the dark matter, the black hole, you will always find a dark a hole that will take that money and unfortunately it just it just has to be one when within this this time Tracy the thing about it is money talks more than we do money talks we're all yeah. worshipping the ISIS not all but you know, when I say stuff, I don't mean every single freaking person, but I mean majority. Mm, majority, yeah. Majority. Will mm -hmm. get on their knees for the dollar dollar given one hot opportunity. I mean, people have tried, you know, through my life, people have tried to pay me off. Yeah. That has never happened. Oh my God, if they got you, they could run with a whole bunch of stuff. But our brother, Chief Charles Duduck, has not sold out. That ain't going to happen. One of the last men on the continent, as far as I'm concerned. One of the last. The other one, who I, I would like everyone to send out prayers to and for today. My dad is suffering from what I'm suffering from surprisingly enough and so is your daughter my I'm not digesting food suddenly today I'm better but it, it's not sudden I've, I'm fighting I'm fighting for it I'm fighting like the earth is fighting right now You don't know what's being put in this food. That's another damn problem, man. Part of my expression on it, too. Yeah. We know that the air and all the waters, we've been talking about the poisoning of the water, but now that's all the waters everywhere. All the waters everywhere. We just had an update. And it's interesting because it came out on the 8th. The eighth is important this month. The two eight. Fire explosion. 
U.S. nuclear plant. State of emergency has been declared. They're saying it's an unexpected power decrease in the friggin' reactor. So this is the Brunswick nuclear plant. Not the other ones I've been telling you about. This is um, North Carolina. Emergency class is alert. That means oh my god WTF basically um, emergency declared reactor protection system another fire and explosion at a nuclear plant right. we have that we have Los Angeles which you know, I've been talking about forever. You and I have been talking about this forever, saying mm -hmm. this was going to be the next one that is now officially spewing formaldehyde. It's spewing it so much, so much, that it's already reached the atmosphere, which means. You got you got minutes. You're breathing that You're in breathing. and out. Methane is turning to an embalming fluid. So this basically makes your body start digesting itself. The company knew this was happening. I guess should have, you know, warned us. But obviously No, they don't warn anything. They didn't want you to know about this either. We had an event where people were, well, actually, some some people were saying, you know, it's it's beautiful, it's it's sweet, it's. I'm not seeing it as beautiful nor sweet. There is this clan, and. I don't know about you guys. Well, I think I know about you guys because we're all on the same page if you're listening to me. Mm. We know what sentience is. We know that beings here are sentient. If they breathe in out, they have a consciousness, they have feelings. If they have feelings, they are just like us. This other strange event, Citrus um, County, Florida. The Water Lovers, Florida. Mm -hmm. I have a video of manatees just outside the Three Sisters Springs in Crystal River, Florida, which is a sacred freaking site. So the U.S. Wildlife Service, that says it's not a big deal, but they're down there, saying there's 300 manatees using the springs, just as a warm waters shelter, because, you know, it's, it's nice. The picture I have, well, it's a video, actually, I have up on the site, that these aren't rocks, they're manatees. They're so much like us, can't even stand it. So while everyone else is sitting around gawking at them, to me it sends shivers up and down my spine. They are quiet. They are still. They are huddling together. This is a freaking sign. If mm -hmm. I were in Florida, I'd be bracing myself for sure. These gentle creatures, when they aren't overly energetic, or loud, they're called. They're they, they're talkers like we. Usually, you'll you'll see them swimming about, even lazily swimming, but having fun. This makes me nervous. For them, they've obviously come to a trusted place right now a sacred sanctuary. They are barely 
sticking their heads out of the water to take a breath. This is not a good thing. No. This is a sign. How many signs do we need to get? We've gone on, you and I, about the sacred white animals really? that are appearing in incredible frequency around our planet. There has been a total of two or three uh, white animals here. Uh, I got a white deer that is here. And Winstar and myself was on the back porch, and we did see this completely. We have never seen a white raven in our life. I have never even heard tell of one. Well, we saw one flying with the black ravens that we've got. And the thing about the white deer is every time it shows up and I'm outside, it's always staring at me. Never. It actually gets very, it gets fairly close. Yeah. But it won't do it with anything, anybody else. That's a, that's a different thing, too. The white animals are very special. They're like a unicorn mating with a four-leaf clover rare. Mm. And they come to you. They are beseeching our help. We have um, also from February the 8th, I don't know if you've seen this one, too, Doug. My astronomy picture of the day. Light pillars over Alaska. Yes. Although yes. this is happening all across the far north. Here's their explanation. Because these are not auroras. They are called the sun pillar, a column of light that, that usually appear to extend right up to the sun. They say it's it's flat, fluttering ice crystals. Our people, and I mean our people, all across the north, all around the circle, say these are ancestors. These are our people. These aren't even the ancestors. That's more the auroras. These are people leaving. This is the image of souls leaving. And yes. if you get a chance, I really want people to look at that picture today look how many look how many that's that's that has been uh, told many many times and if you look at it really good you can see them even it's this picture that I have up there and if you have any kind of computer program that um, lets you look closer to something, you will see faces. And they're not a couple of them. They're showing us it's again, it's another freaking sign. They're showing us the evacuation. We talked about last year as the year of the reaping the reaping where mm -hmm. souls would be lost and there's a picture I haven't haven't put up here I put up on my Facebook um, if you guys get a chance please um, join me on Facebook I have this new page called Trace Elements Radio it's a close group I want to have people who want to hear these kind of things in it. This is so much a sign I can't even stand myself. These are beings on their way out wanting to speak to our souls. But there is a picture. 
for the this year of the monkey that's just happened the Chinese poster which is disturbing as heck it's it looks like an anal rape picture to be honest and I'm wondering myself are we not there because the monkey the energetic monkey that you know just happened they just celebrated that yesterday there's a couple ways to look at this monkey which actually goes with um, native prophecy which we're going to get into this year specifically which actually goes in the Masonic year freaking year one doom and gloom stuff that talks about the power of the monkey that says let go or be dragged you always have a choice you're going either way let yeah. go or be dragged so between epic snowstorm um, mercury retrograde early departures 2016 so far has been quite a year of turbulence and we're only in month two the Chinese New Year upon us we need to take a look at the year ahead because if you haven't have it, had a chance to do some visioning for this year it's not too late there are some things to freaking expect so the Chinese New Year that was on February 8th we'll get back to that this is the year of the fire monkey the sheep of last year have been sheared. It's time to grab a banana, I guess, and <laughs> go, go, go. You're going to need some extra potassium for the stamina. Like, seriously, extra potassium for the stamina and the fact that we're being irradiated worldwide. Two Dog and I, from the moment of Fukushima, said, Houston, we have a problem. Yes. We said it from the start. From the start. From the very start. We, and I realize we have a lot of new listeners, and I'm grateful, of course. Tudok and I are grateful. Yes, very. There's a bigger story for 2016. This is a nine year. Numerology. The number nine holds a vibration of completion, ending, if you will. Like volunteering at a homeless shelter, nine represents being a human, too. Completion is no easy task. There's this woman, she's also on their site. A mystic in the old in the old ways of mystics a nun who has stayed for 45 years in a solitary retreat she just well she didn't come out but she answered the door she actually brought cookies you know I love her so much already <laughs> didn't know the woman and she said to the Buddhist monks that she spoke to I love all the little things you're doing now her story is it was a time that a very rich man wanted her she hated him so ran had to climb down a freaking mountain to get away from him and went 
into a, a Buddhist temple and secluded herself. Now what she said is, what we should be doing is praying for all sentient beings. That's it. That's all we should be doing. And she she was. She was very, she was sweet about how she did. She goes, I love all the things you guys are doing. If it had it been me, I would have said, but you're wrong. She didn't. She's wonderful, obviously. She said, this is the days foretold. And she's still in there hiding a little bit because this man may be still alive. So, you know, we go back to several seers that we've had. And I'm not talking about Nostradamus that everyone's so on about, who was, I'm sorry, vague. He was vague. He was confusing. It was ridiculous. He's ridiculous. Could be anything. There have been some women. There have been some men too who have come out in the last 50 years. Huge. This woman said, we will get to a point where women will be more with cats and dogs and have pictures of them together than they ha will have with the men nailed that, by the way. She said, unfortunately, our men will become feral. Now, she was born in this ancient territory of what we call Macedonia. Yeah. Apple of discord for years. Greece, Turkey, Bulgaria, Serbia. An ancient spot with lots of power. Her native land experienced two world wars in which Bulgarians and the Serbs were struggling against each other, even though genetically they are brothers. And there is nothing that can fight more violently. If you can get two brothers to fight, they want to beat each other's ass. Right, Tudor? Uh, yeah, my two brothers are that way, but when they look at me, they don't know. <laughs> but I have seen my two brothers really get with it until I get in the middle and say, okay, stop. We're done now. But <laughs> you're done. Quit. You know. Yeah. But, you know. I've seen them get so mad at me that they want to, but they just won't. Well, because they've learned, don't make me get scrappy. No, that's the way it's been all, ever since we were little. Yeah. So, there is nothing more violent than a bond of love. This is what I mean when I say that. Okay. When you get two brothers to fight, it can be horrific. They use our love against us, these controllers of this time. Definitely. Who are Definitely. sitting back, not involved. The super rich don't get involved in our fights. They pay for it. They want us to just scrap it out. But this woman lost her sight in an event that anyone on the planet who, who knows stuff would say touched by the gods, the spirit, the the thing, the heebie-jeebie. Mm -hmm. The great pumpkin. Mm -hmm. She was 12. She was taken by a tornado, lifted up, tossed down, found alive, but blind. The sand scrubs scrubbed her eyes basically her eyes 
actually became diamonds. She didn't see in the way we've taught seeing is, but she saw in every other way. That's important. This woman has declared events unprecedented. One of the most important that I want to bring up now. An African president will be the last acting president of the United States. Horror, horror, the American brethren will fall after being besieged by steel birds, wolves, howling by the bush, innocent blood gushing. She said that would happen 1989. She said a big wave will cover a large coast with people in vid villages where everything will disappear underwater. She said the Great Islamic War started by powers of the West unforeseen beginning in Syria accumulating for the complete control of Rome. She also said that there would be an established a uh, definitive caliph and that Europe would cease to exist after the caliph was brought in which has just happened by the way and become a continent almost empty and wastelands devoid of life one of the most shocking predictions was made actually in 1980 at the turn of the century in August 1999-2000, Kursk will be covered in water. The whole world will be weeping over it. The prediction did not make any sense back when she said it. No, 1920. 20 years on, it made a horrifying sense. A Russian nuclear submarine perished in an accident in, the, in August 2000, the sub was named after the city of Karsk, which by no means would have been covered with water. But mm -hmm. among many predictions, some are exotic, such as the ensuring that aliens would help us live underwater soon and that there would be a mission to Mars because the powers in control she didn't say powers that be she said the dreaded eagle which went from South Africa to North Africa that went to Greece that went to Rome that's now in the States she said the mighty eagle would send explorers to Mars and these explorers would perish she nailed it because that's what they're planning on doing no, they're planning on going to Mars right now they're already uh, working on this they're working on this they're testing people who can just lie in a bed for 18 months and see how that will go mm-hmm then we have the Mohawk prophecy. The, so the prophecy of two dog and my people. Something that you've probably heard before, but not like this. It, it's about when the seven becomes eight and infinity. This is the Mohawk prophecy of the seventh generation. I pictures. So seven generations after the contact of the homeworld 
with Europeans. Let me talk about the home world for a minute. Scientists have now come out with there was an ancient collision where two planets became one. This is our planet. The oldest piece of it that we can see of the second planet is here. Canada. Oldest rock on the world that is not of our world. Sticking out. And they talked about wars and famines and the ancient battle that ensued because of the joining. I'm living in a place that has the highest radiation, natural. They're calling it natural radiation if they didn't look at the friggin' craters all over the place. That I can take more radiation than more people. This is what I'm saying. But there are spots of this all over the planet. So, the contact with the Europeans. Not the first Europeans that came over. There was lots. There were Africans. There, Everybody came over here because everyone is probably from here. I know. It, it blows all the theories. But top land, oldest part of the top land, here. You can't you can't make it up. I can't be lying. We've talked about it. Look into it. I'm telling you, the oldest rock sticking up here. Mm -hmm. So, the people would one day see the elm trees die. Strange, strange animals would be born deformed without proper limbs. Strange stone monsters would tear open the face of the earth like potholes, like like pimple scars. That's the sinkholes we're seeing, people. Rivers would burn, happened. The air would burn the eyes of men, happening. The birds would fall from the sky, the fish would die in the water. And man would go ashamed of the way that he had treated his mother, his provider, this good earth. After seven generations of living in close contact with the new Europeans, mm -hmm. the people would rise up and demand their rights and beg for the stewardship over the earth that we should all be doing together as a family. The earth should be respected and restored. Now according to the wisdom of this prophecy, men and women would one way and in one day turn to the ancient ways. There's a, a word for this. It does not mean a specific people of this continent. It meant the old ones. It meant the ancients. It meant all our people for both guidance and direction. It is up to the present generation of youth who are the eighth now of the old ways to provide leadership and example to all who have failed. The children of the Ganahi Heka that's a Mohawk. People of the Flint. The Flint who is poisoned. Are the seventh generation. But we, as a people right now, are these people. Right. What do you exactly. Think? What do you think, Tudok? Well, no, the thing about the eighth generation. The eighth generation is like my daughter. We are the we have we are the seventh generation that is supposed to mend the sacred, which I think is working. We are, and you know, when Dad and I did that show, and with you, and that show we can't play because bad words. Yes. 
I I'm am actually, I have edited that show finally and sent it to Dad for, um, if he says it's okay, we're going to play it. Dad okay. is an elder. He's a powerful okay. friggin' being. Don't even think he isn't. And well, I talked to him. I know he is. We're going to play this because this was the heaviest show Two Dog and I ever did, I think. Oh, it was righteous. <laughs> Two Dog was singing. Dad was singing. They talked about some stuff that we need to hear. Or maybe I'm just... I think we should leave in the bad words and just play it here. I'm going to ask if I have permission to just play it here. Uh, yeah. I don't think that'll go over. I'll send the edited well, you... version because I'm telling you, these were two men talking. There's nothing stronger than that. For the first time. But they sounded like they had always spoke. That they have never not spoke. It's hard to explain. You know what I mean? Well, it's like, you know, when me and your father started speaking, it was like, you know, two men that are in, that are family themselves, sitting down, having a cup of coffee around the table, talking about what's up, what, what happened, what's happening now, what was, what was the thing back then. And it's still. And it wrote. What it was. It was what it, was it is. What it shall be. Yes. Powerful. I got chills. I literally got chills. And I warned to dog like probably 30 seconds before the show. I said, Dad's coming on. Yeah, it was about 30 Get ready. seconds. Yeah. <laughs> ready? <laughs> Three. Two, one, go. Two dog was like Mr. Friggin' Professional. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. And they talked about the wars in Canada and the United States. The new wars. When people marched together. All kinds of shade of skin. And forgot about the stupid little stuff that they've told us to fight about. Because we're all brothers. Like it or not, dysfunctional or not, we will live together or die together. We're in those days. We're here now, living the end. We're seeing what's going on in Brazil, this genetically modified virus. is horror. This is horror beyond friggin' words. They've released the thing. The demon. And they did it by messing with sex. Our okay. sacred power. Our power to regenerate. It's the only reason why. And unfortunately, our power goes both ways. That's why women who are raped usually have a child. The passion and the want and the need is a very, very strong procreator. If we yes. use that procreative power to fix this planet we could do it this is every spell ever cast that's the only thing you don't have to make magic sigils on the ground you don't you don't have to build buildings pyramids were when we lost our souls we never needed those we are a greater species than that mm. we ha had and we knew that those buildings were just a representation of what we are. That's it. That is it. We we also have to understand Tracy as a 
as the human being itself, black, white, yellow, red, around the world, the four directions of that, is that men and women in itself, we are here to work together for the benefit of the whole. We should be working together. Exactly. All the separation. And I know because I've I've gotten emails talking about the feminism movement. No. Our people on this planet react certain ways because of trauma and anger. Mm-hmm. But even this woman, this blind prophet, said that men and women would be so separated that men would become feral and women would like dogs and cats over them. Called it, I'm on Facebook, I see the little kitty pictures. They have made us afraid of each other, too, dog. The the problem, what I've also also seen, is a lot of people, especially you know, like uh, indigenous people that were had a meta oracle society. Okay, we did. Where and the women ran the tribe. That's the women run the tribe. And that every people still joke of this. During the the Indian Wars and the way things have went with the boarding school, residential school. Yep. They made us think now instead of going, okay, it's we, us, ours, it's me, mine, I. Now it went from the women run the you know, run this tribe. The women have the power to now men run the world and the women should be silent. And that's yeah. not right. We are going we are still know that when societies collapse they don't end. They continue. This is the Greek yeah. society, this is the Roman society, this is the dreaded bird that I've talked about. That now right. America holds and is about to pass over to something else. They named at, viruses after them, women. Yeah. They wanted to use women at, only as birthing systems. In America, I can say this, and, and I've seen it around the world as well. Women have become objects for men's pleasure or, or whatever. Just do what I tell you. No, you don't do it that way. That's not that's not the way life is to be. How in the world do you expect a woman to love you if the only thing you're gonna do is enslave her? It's not gonna happen. It won't happen. We've just had um possibly the weirdest thing ever could be good could be bad depends on who works it I guess because this is a magical thing China they're saying is close to creating an artificial sun this will be the end of reliance on fossil fuels the rape and the torture of the planet, the the oil, the black. This is even the black goo. This is the blood of the mother, yeah. which is black and red. We have two colors. They are black and red. Everything spawns from that. So this artificial solar energy could eventually... be used as an inexhaustible source of power. 
China is working with cash. I have worked with cash. I've told you guys that. I've, I've walked you through what I've done. I've shown you the art I've created. I am disturbed. Because they think at this point the only thing we can do is leave. And Two Dog and I told you six years ago that this would happen, that there would be a new movement. And Kesh, who by the way said, I am the Messiah. Okay. He is. But when we look at what the Christ energy was supposed to be, not what it's become. That there would be a Christ. Actually, it's a sound. It's a signal. They've told you, even in the Bible, encoded, of course, what the 666 is. There needs to be two sounds. The Christ and the Antichrist. One actually counteracts the other. One yes. is the solution for the other. And it's a sound and it's a tone. I know we're going deep here. Bear with me, guys. And it's a sound that you've probably all made. Perhaps it's the sound to heal the earth. Because our people, our people, I'm talking about everybody, knew first we should sing. We should tap. Make the drum. All of our people make the drum. My dad welcomed Two Dog first. He goes, you know, we're people of the drum. He did, didn't he? Yes, you did. And I said, yes, sir, I know we are. We are the people of the drum. This is the heartbeat. We do understand each other. This is the heartbeat. This is the sound. The heartbeat of the mother. And, you know, I realize we're about to take a break. I'm going to tell you what you need to do. And <laughs> Excuse me. People need to be doing this right now. No matter where you live, our water is no longer safe. So we're taking a break, and uh, we'll be right back. You're listening to Trace Elements Radio with Chief Charles Two Dog and TK. We'll be right back. You're listening to Revolution Radio, freedomslips.com, 100% listener-supported radio, and now we return you to your host. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Na, 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 na. We're gonna rock you. Listen. <laughs> I've put a movie up for you guys. We have it for another 12 hours. Um, please watch it. Um, I bought it for you guys. I bought you a present. How awesome are you? It's called Six Days on Earth. It's another one of those weird esoteric shows that tell you the controllers what they're doing. You think the Anunnaki is scary? How about the Zika? Zika, ancient word, the Z. The, the Z we'll get into. But the Ka is soul. We are now in the officially named Soul Wars. We've had a sinkhole that just opened up in Paraguay. 
that just swallowed 60 people. We've had fish rain down in Ethiopia. Fish in Ethiopia. Do you know dry? Do you know hot? Do you know Ethiopia? Do you know how far, if it was a wind, they'd have had to carry that? No, I'm thinking portals opening. And I know, too, dog, we don't usually talk about this, but mm-hmm. Ethiopia, dry, hot desert, fish, yeah. rain. Uh, <laughs> right? You know, that's the, main, that's the main thing that makes people go, huh? Really? Ow. You know, what I've said before, I would not report these things if they would stop happening. Well, you know, the thing about, you know, the thing about you, Tracy, the thing about us on these shows mm. is that we actually report things that world media don't even touch. Who wouldn't touch us? No. The, the world media will not touch stuff like that. You don't even know things are happening. We know for a fact that radiation leak at another nuclear site in the U.S. has had a spike of 65,000%. And world media are not saying anything about that. And that's not even the one I talked to you guys about. This is another one. Mm -hmm. Then we have more than 3,100 pregnant women in Colombia with the Zika virus. The Z Ka. The Ka. So they're basically naming it after we're taking their soul. You know what that really caught me? Mm. Is there was a virus that came out, just came out. And the next day they had the they had the antidote. Unless you I knew just, that you, they made you didn't the know virus. Anything about it. In you didn't 47. Know about it, how you get the antidote? Hard my express. Go ahead, Trey. They I'll made it that. in 47. They gave it to mosquitoes. Who they know can kinetic, kinetically, like, fly and mm-hmm. carry DNA. That's what mosquitoes mm-hmm. do. They not only. Mm-hmm. Sting you, they keep a little of your genome. They just found a two billion year old mosquito with a heart on. I'm sorry, but that's what he had. They they store your your stuff. So genetic engineering and the next pandemic I have to admit flawlessly timed because once again mainstream media vultures of course not not vultures so much but they're told what to say that's why we hear the same thing said over and over go again mm-hmm. perfectly exploiting this is potentially global. This is not like the other viruses. This is not the fake virus they hit on Canada. So we stop letting Americans come up here for the cheap drugs and, you know, we did sass the Americans and say, we're not going to war. No. The common cold had more deaths than what he had hit up here in Canada that closed our friggin' borders down and all trade. That was an attack. Yeah. Yeah. This thing, the origins, the nature of this outbreak, and it's unprecedented, this spike. Systems of this 
symptoms of the strain in really concentrated areas. And we're going to say some stuff that's going to piss you off, so get your emails ready. Because I get emails when I say stuff like this. There are two strains of people on this planet that are genetically stronger. Well, there's actually three, kind of. One is, one is Asian, one is black, one is Indian. So we're all basically a panda. <laughs> Actually, wherever you go, the people who live longest have all three. Specifically all three. So, they went to Brazil, who has the highest concentration of Asian, Black, and okay, I'm gonna just say I'm gonna say white at this point because the white people listen, I don't care about your little light skin. I saw your DNA Asian African Shut up. So the big three white Asian African we're just going to say that I'm, I'm not, I'm not discounting native to dog. I'm just saying we are these combinations. At least mm -hmm. now, right? Mm -hmm. So you need these three viral strains to live. You get people way up in the in the mountains who are catching all the cosmic rays. They live freaking 120 years. There's a woman I put on my site who they have proved is 166 years old. She's got that combo. Actually, she looks like my grandma, but little. So, yeah. What Brazil has done, other than the dancing and the next Olympics, which would be perfect if you want to get the best and the brightest and strongest in one group to get a virus, you would take, like, I mean, if I was going to conquer the world, this would be my plan. You would take the strongest. DNA that everyone has you get the younger ones who will survive it and send them back home yep. the origins the nature of this outbreak unprecedented spikes in cases now all over the world it is now all over the world people who have not contacted although they are now saying you shouldn't even kiss Zika it's an RNA virus that means they went to the mother for this has been considered relatively safe up until now they also know we already all carry it. They know this. It is a localized um, contagious pathogen. It produces flu-like symptoms. Except it's going to the mitochondria DNA. Do you know how they got to the mitochondria DNA? The actual code, the secret code? They went by going through male 
bucks. And I could do a whole show on how we are similar to these male bugs. And it would bug uh-huh. everyone. Don't make me do it. Because I will. So, this emergent virus, the FLA, basically, there's no flu. It's called FLA. F L A. It's identified as the Ugandan 1947 rhesus monkey through a monitoring network of yellow fever. That usually, yellow fever on this planet, that will just kill you. But in the rhesus monkey, it changes. Your DNA, your basic structure. So, in 1952, in Uganda and Tanzania, outbreaks of the Zika virus are already recorded. Africa, Americas, Asia, and specific in the Pacific. So this is the three I'm telling you about. The black, the Asian, and the combo. Already recorded 52. So the reports of a self-limiting febrile imbrance um, illness, basically that is easily transmitted between species. This isn't just you you got different skin color. This is species. This is a little bit the virus. Two Dog and I were talking about three years ago about the elk that just jumped friggin' species when they said it couldn't. Right. Right. So, here's what it looks like. The incubation period goes 3 to 12 days after a bite of an infected mosquito. Most of the infections remain. You can't see them. You don't even get a little fever. You don't get a bump. Disease symptoms mild, usually look like nothing. However, what this looks like, even the name of the word and the symptoms of the word, the name of the word. And the symptoms of the word usually are exactly the same. High five for my esoteric brothers and sisters out there. <laughs> so, no consistent connection. Although birth defects only happens in humans. The animal's don't get the birth defects although they carry it forever and now it's transmitted by sex it's gone out in the public since 47 viruses are strong they're powerful they adapt they're like us except alien there were no viruses three billion years ago there was not even a virus at all on this planet they are the invaders you want to see the aliens? I got a picture so the emerging or at least majority of these viruses actually attack skin tone. 
skin tone that we may not even see. We may be light skinned. But if you have freckles, it attacks that and kills you. It loves pregnant women. As a matter of fact, it's now proven that it specifically changes for pregnant women. So, I don't even have to get esoteric on this stuff. The virus is occulted. Secret. Attacker. Do that. So, basically, what what could be said, what could be said, because that, you know, there was no viruses on this planet that many years ago. There was no virus. We all already had it. Could they? Now, I'm just going to say this. Please. Could the, the ones in control... be putting this in nature to handle to say uh, we don't want this many we only want this many people on the planet so let's infect these mosquitoes to infect those people too or we don't have to worry about we've talked about genetically altered weapons The mosquito is the perfect carrier. Because mosquitoes already carry everybody's DNA. Yes. They messed with the male. Who, who, we have been told that the male carries no power. It's not true. It's not all mitochondria DNA. The male actually drives the living force of the planet in mosquitoes in bugs in plants and in human males if you infect the male who carries both female and male you infect the planet You know, we've talked about the ancient stories to Doug about, you know, kill off the women, subjugate them. Yeah. But I'm thinking, shit, I I have a son. He will kill your ass if you touch me. Well, you got a friend right here that might do the same. I, yeah, I got a friend. You know, I have male this. I have my dad. Like, you don't want none of that. <laughs> Seriously, I have uncles. I have the sweetest, kindest males in my family, but don't step to them. The thing about me and your father, I, mean, I could say it like this, is that we're, we're two people that family means a lot. Yeah. Everything. Now, the thing, the other thing about your father and myself is that we're both, I was raised old school from the old people. You and your Warrior father poets. and myself are old school people. Yep. We know each other. Yep. It didn't take, it didn't take two minutes into the interview with your father. It didn't. That the old school was coming out. In All of a sudden, we're sitting around my table. I'm like making dinner or something. You guys are talking. Yeah. Yep. That was that was the way it went down because we're we're both two old school people. And with some of my songs that I'm writing right now is dedicated to your father because he really. He got me doing it. He loves you so much. Oh, I, I adore him. I think he's a, he's a great man. And if I had someone like your father when I was younger, me and him could be doing the same thing together. 
you know, as far as music is concerned. Oh, yeah, for sure. I didn't have a teacher on that point. And if I'd known your father back then, I'm sure it could have happened. This He's is... been a great mentor to me, too. This is old way. How we used to send our warriors to another people mm -hmm. to be trained. Yes. Yeah. And this is so all of our people on this planet. There is something older. They've gone to an old virus to attack us now. The same people who made AIDS made this Zika. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's attacking the old lot. Old lines of this planet. Go on, Tudok. I know how, you want to how say something. I, how, how can I say this? To the to the these to these people that are that we're talking about, the elite or whatever you want to call them, the leaders or whatever you want to call them. When you get to people that you can't buy out or you can't bend to what you want, of course they're going to come up with something to take you out. The way they get more... The Brazilians were fighting against the ranchers who were taking down the trees. Yes. And they have killed more activists in Brazil than anywhere on the planet. These believe, are people Tracy, of the old ways. Go on, please. I believe, Tracy, if I am not mistaken, I think it came from Brazil, maybe Portugal, but I do think it was Brazil. I'm going to say it like this. Uh, they were taking down the rainforest. From my understanding, cutting the trees from the rainforest. And this chief came out. And this ain't been but just a few years ago. Because they were cutting our relations, as far as the trees are concerned. And as soon as he came out, the ones that were doing the cutting of the trees hung the man. This is the ancients. This is the people of the old ways who actually yes. came out to speak to us hoping that we would hear his voice. Yes, they killed him. They killed his mother. Yes. They killed his sisters. They wiped his entire tribe from the planet. Yes, exactly. Exactly. And surprisingly enough, from my research, which I have just posted, shows that his DNA is connected to everyone here on this planet. Black, white, red. Yellow. Yellow, yellow is complicated. Yellow is black and freaking white and native. But whatever. Um, you're the monkey. I have posted this filthy picture of what they're showing in, in China of what the year the monkey represents. Horrific. But to me, 
looking at the pictures of the stuff going up, these light pictures, everything we've talked about happening right now. Fukushima set off a catastrophic chain of events, which Two Dog and I talked about four years ago. Yes. Every nuclear reactor is reacting to that one. Well, actually that four. And yes, it could have been an underwater nuke. If it was an underwater nuke, they were attacking what we already know, what they've come out with. That there is another water system and another earth underneath this. We are two planets combined. No, they're going for the ancient DNA now. My grandmother, dad's side, her people no longer even exist in Africa. They were wiped out. But they came here. They came here an uncomfortably earlier amount of time before they brought um, European slaves over. This was the argument I had on my Facebook. A wonderful woman, by the way, I have been posting stuff for Black History Month. She's like, well, so you're going to the black side now. And I'm like, listen, you know how that pisses me off, to dog. Yes, I, I know. But, you know, Tracy, let's, let's look at it logically here for, for her. Just Please. for a second. Just Please. for her. Please. Here's the point. As you know, as you know, I'm native. I'm red. I'm a red man. Yes, sir. Okay. You know that. I walked with the black man. In the 60s, I did. Through Martin Luther King movement, I did. Because here's the deal. What has been going on in this country to the, to the, to all people, tell you the truth. And if you really want to go with this on the, uh, you know, the white slavery, let's look at this point. Please, let's what go there. What we've done is, I'm going to go just as deep as I can go. If you look at what uh, how do I say it? The country of England, just that, that, you know, as far as that goes. And this is way back. This is way back. So guys out of England, don't, don't hold me to this because this is, you know, history. That's all. And then Scotland. What they did in Scotland, then they came here and perfected it on the Indian. Now. Now. What they stated was in America that all men are created equal. Then why did you have slavery for for the black man anyway? Did you want all the land that couldn't and too lazy to work it that you had to get the stolen people and put them on stolen land and make them part, make your profit? Is that it? We had slaves here. Sure. We we enslaved other natives if they started crap we made them slaves we had native slaves then when they brought, brought over the white slaves we took them then when they brought over the black slaves we took them but this is not new this it's is the way of our people but, you know, let's let's look at American history for just a minute. Please. Let's look at American history for just a minute. When you had the white people that had the black slaves, okay? And I'm going to say with the Seminole, Seminole in Florida. Let's yeah, yeah, way. let's talk right. about them. What the Seminole did, because 
the African uh, tradition was similar to Native tradition, and both people were the drum, by the way. The Indian married into the black, or the black married into the Indian. And when the whites came and said, that's my property, I want it back, the Seminole goes, you want it? Come get it. You see what I'm saying? In other words, we took care of each other. That's history. That's the true history. And let's bring this up. Because we're getting into history people don't know right now. Mm -hmm. That's not said. That's not said. There has not always been war. Up with the Big Mac. This has just been proven. There was an ancient Chinese general. They called... <coughs> sorry, guys. A giant. He was seven and a half foot tall, so they officially a giant. Uh -huh. who came here, taught us stuff, built a city. It was just bombed, actually, um, three months ago because there was a dig going on. It was like two... That's not Columbus. No, Columbus never made this little tragedy butt here. No, he never got to North... He never got on Turtle Island, I put it that way. No. He got to the islands. He sold people for food. Brought them back. But on his ship, and you can look this up, he had translators who spoke Arabic and Zulu. True story. Mm -hmm. He knew True what story. he was going to find. He had a map. He knew what exactly. <laughs> Sorry. Now, exactly where know, he's Trace, going. To go to go even further within history. This is just history. Okay. This is this is a true fact also. In Scotland, this is going way back into Scotland. You know, Scottish Plantish days. Okay. When two Scots, a man and a woman, got married. Whoever was the uh, head man from England that that was there, and this is the true fact: the husband could not lay with the wife. He got to lay with the wife first. Exactly. That is the if you impregnate a child from the Scottish woman then that means he's half English. So you are sexually getting rid of the Scottish. Yes, it, it's the same thing. I do want to um, say one thing for Black History Month that I haven't mentioned. There's a little girl. There was a little girl. Sarah Rector. By the age of 10, she became the richest woman on the planet. She received a land grant from the Greek nation. Dead now. As reparations because she proved genetically her people had been there for thousands of years, which is funny because they said they couldn't do DNA tests at the time. She received a, a land grant soon after oil was discovered there. By 1912, the revenue from this oil was $371,000 a year. Roughly 
six and a half million today. Despite various attempts to steal her land, her fortune never happened. She went on to attend Tuskegee University, which they later genetically tried to modify those people for speaking out, and eventually settled in Kansas City, Missouri, where her mate, her actual mate mansion still stands. Her people who could prove Columbus didn't make it here first. And the war that went on with her people and the Greek who, by the way, Tudok and I have talked about this when one of the kings of Ethiopia support the United States for independence said, you protect my people I'm good with this I will give you the money mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. that's her people that's my people right. Africans were here a long time ago like everyone else everyone came here because this has to be the first island. We have the oldest rock. Has to be the first crawling up from the ocean. Has to be. Now, in the town, in the town that I came from, and I'm going to say it like this, this is why they don't like me very much. Let's put it this way. They do not like me very much from there. And this is going back 19... 66, 60, around 66. The reason they don't like me was I saw this officer, two story by the way, saw this officer, and this black woman, she had to be, I'd say, 65, 70 years old, and she went over to a water fountain, only a water fountain. She was hot. I could I could tell the grandmother was hot. And she bent over and took water. He was going to sick a German shepherd on that on that grandmother. Just for that. And I got in front of the dog. I got in front of the dog. You are a move. crazy man. And that's just, you just don't do that to another human being. And I dared that cop to shoot me, do whatever you want to do. You ain't touching that grandmama. And that was the 60s, man. Yeah. This is our people. This is my family. My mom... My dad, my mom, native and white. White is so like, it sounds like they're all one people. They're not. My my mom's DNA said German. So that means she is all the Slovakians and Ethiopian and the people in between. Deep culture you had over there where people used to go mm. back and forth and not worry about their little co- their little color of skin this is why most of the ancients, most of the people there still wear fezzes that look like black African men hair mm. I have mm. not lost that notice my brothers no. and sisters <laughs> I don't know what happened to make your skin light, but I know that suddenly I'm anemic, and you almost can see my like veins under my skin. 
something happened to you that lied to you. You people were powerful and fought against this crap forever. Then they sent you over here as slaves recently. What are you going to do? You got a chance to feed your family, you're going to take it. I'm not cutting anyone down for that. I would make that choice. Attack my son, give me a choice. No, I will wipe out this entire planet to save my son. Yes. Yes. What we get from history is only the history of the royals. This is not what the people did. This is not what we went through. And we still know on a very basic level, or we would not be so mixed, that we are family. We don't know each other's languages. We have been taught to speak this one pretty much a little bit gelatin is language yeah. 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 but in our hearts our hearts still beat we're not dead yet although they're trying to kill us every coast right now is under attack every water is under attack oh to dog I want to um, make mention yes do you guys remember the little scrub plaids that our grandmas had? Made of copper. The, the yeah. scrub pads we used for like cop um, pots and stuff. Yes, yes. If you take that scrub pad, put it in some water. Pour that water out. The water is clean. It is also yeah. disinfected. If you mm -hmm. take that scrub pad, burn it on a fire, it'll turn black. Mm -hmm. You take that, put it in a vessel, pour that water out, strain it again so you don't have the carbon. Mm -hmm. Clean water clean from virus, clean from radiation, clean from the GMO stuff we're getting. Right. Simple, right. easy, use that. A copper scrub pad before it becomes a Brazilian dollars, even the shape of it is exactly a nest. Birds make nests not just because, because they're comfy, because that saves the babies. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, mm -hmm. take a nest, do this, get this now. There is no clean water here, not on this planet. They are literally trying to kill us. Do this. Yes. Yeah. Do this, save yourself. And for the people listening, I want to ask you something. Have your teeth suddenly started to chip? Be honest. I mean, you haven't bit into something, you haven't suddenly done something different. Are your teeth chipping? That's radiation, brothers and sisters. Build the copper. Save your Mine life. got really bad. Mine really got bad. Really bad. Suddenly, right? Yes. And basically, they got so bad, they had to take them. Quick. Mm-hmm. They had to do it quick. Because if they you were take telling the me, cup. they would, they would, they were telling me that if they didn't, that I would have extreme severe uh, heart disease. They just told my dad that today, to dog. Swear to God. 
Mm. Take the copper, burn it in the fire, bring it back, filter your water. We should not even be taking showers now. It's that bad. We should filter our water through this. That should be all we're doing. Everything else should be fermented. Yeah, we're at the end of days. But you know, to be it's honest, okay, Lowe's um, brass is to be, okay. To be honest, Tracy, in my area, I I bother people. I seriously do. And I bother people like so much. I can't even stand it. But it's for what you know, for what I believe in, what I stand for, and. You know, they, they go, well, it's a new world. You got to get out of that way of thinking. It's a new world now. Yeah, it's well, the old word, I don't, I don't, world where they're trying to kill us. I'm like, well, still, I'm trying to make sure my daughter and my six generations from that continue. It ain't about me, Tracy. It ain't about me, Tracy. It's about the people in general. It's not about me. I may not even... I don't even care anymore. But if I can help, if there are four people listening right now, it's enough. Then that's four you can help. We will save those people. Save let me, those let me people. Put it to you, let me put it to you loosely, Trace. What I, what I try to do, you know, if I make... If I can do this to make your son a better life, your son, my daughter, anybody's kid, black, white, yellow, red, I don't care. That's what I'm trying to do. And if people don't like that, they can come for me at that. It's fine. Yeah, you got a problem with me. Talk to Tudor. I'm not dealing with your shit. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing about human being. Here's the human being. And ladies and gentlemen, whether you like it or not, this is the this is the dog in the hunt. The human being has forgotten its place in nature. They go, well, we're human, we're not animals. Yes, you are, you're an animal. You're a mammal. You're a two-legged animal. Dog warrior didn't have to happen until God came over here. They needed the antidote. This is what yes. I'm going to show you as the frequency, as the antidote. You have to play them together. It sounded weird until Two Dog just said that. I'm telling you, the people knew. There were no dog warriors until there was God. And the only thing that fought against them, and I mean, 200 years before we knew or were told there was a fight, and they were not all native from here. They were Greek, they were Roman, they were Celt, they were German. We fought together as brothers and tied ourselves to the pole and said, You will not take us. These are our brothers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are our brothers and they're still here. And, you know... Tracy, to be honest with you, when it comes to my ancestors that are that we have put in the ground, or it comes to my women, I'm going to stake myself to the ground. You'll have to come get me. Don't start shit. Doesn't have to be shit. Okay, brothers and sisters, have a wonderful week, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.
Bye for now.